All right, so here we go. We have something of a relic here. This is actually my old uh, Creative Nomad 2 MP3 player. So this came out a long time ago, before the year 2000. The first time it was available for sale was in 1999, and the Creative Nomad line was discontinued in 2004. Uh, what this basically is, is one of the first type of MP3 players. This was back in the day when you had actual uh, storage media. In this case, it's a uh, 64 megabyte memory card. It's ejectable here. It's powered by a single AA battery, which is actually fantastic. Uh, I remember back in the day, uh, the songs I had on here, which, you know, by the way, on 64 megabytes, you could probably fit a little bit less than 20 songs. I have about uh, 17 here, and I still have a little bit of memory left. But this was great uh, back in the day, actually. This was one of the first MP3 players that uh, used an actual USB connection instead of a serial port. So right here, you had a regular USB cable. At the time, of course, it's not a micro USB. I don't even think I have this cable anymore. But here it is. You have this really cool lock button. So it's, when it's in your pocket, uh, basically none of the buttons can be pressed. Very similar to any of the iPods. Uh, you have your basic controls right here. We're going to put it on in a minute, but first we're just going to take a look at some of the buttons. You have a voice recorder. I remember actually using this. It worked fantastic at the time. And you have this really handy belt clip. Okay, so at this point we're going to turn it on, see what it has to offer. Turn it on, we're just going to press this play button on top, and it's going to load. It has a nice backlit screen. Uh, has a nice, uh, well, I guess you guys can't see right now, but it has a kind of a dim greenish backlit color. So this is the main menu. You have your battery indicator. You have this little indicator that the memory card is in. You have an FM radio, although to my recollection, the FM actually never worked. I was never able to get it to work. You have some info settings, which is basically your uh, memory or your uh, storage settings. Uh, so there we go. Let's just go through some of it. You have voice. Let's check out what the info says. And uh, you have, what else do you have? You have total memory. I'm just going to read it off for you guys. So as I said, it's a 64 megabyte memory card and we have 15 megabytes free right. All right, to go back, we're going to go back. All right, so let's uh, check out the settings menu. Let's see what that has to offer. So we have uh, the backlight, we have contrast, we have power off, which is a sleep timer. Uh, and we have uh, output, which is uh, either headphones, you have a headphone jack on top, or you could put an auxiliary, which they call a line in. Right now we're going to use the line in, we're going to do a little demo with the speaker, see what I have on it. Basically just going to connect it now to uh, my speaker right here. This is a SoundBot SB525, uh, similar to the JBL Charge. So I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to put this on first right here. Okay, let's go to music. Hopefully it's on already. So these are some of the files I have. Uh, some of them say incomplete. Uh, it's only because at the time when I was using some kind of software on my computer, I don't remember, I don't remember whether it was LimeWire or Napster to transfer it over. It didn't fully transfer. But let's see what we got. So we're going to play it. Okay, so the speaker's on. We'll see what we have. Uh, so this is Anthrax uh, back in the day. There we got, I don't know what this is. I think the Deviates. There we got, uh, what else? We have, uh, I think this is The Strokes. We have uh, Thursday. We have some Blink-182, we have some Sick Transit Glory, a great song, great song. I remember when I was uh, younger, I used to listen to this all the time. We have uh, The Deviates, this is a classic right here. Some Men Without Hats. Some No Effects, great, great band, uh, one of my favorites to this day. We have The Offspring, another one, I wish they would come out with something new lately. Got some pulley and uh, some more Thursday. Um, the strokes again. Let's see the offspring right here. 
got another Offspring, great song, I remember, I used to listen to this all the time, and uh, another Offspring, and that's about it, that's what we got, uh, you know, I was able to fit, fit 17 songs on here, but of course we do have some space left, probably up to about 21, uh, depending on the file size, but really, all in all, uh, this MP3 player, as you could tell, has held up really well over the years. I used to use it pretty heavily back in the day, maybe two, three years straight all the time I used to wear it. Um, the colors are still pretty vibrant, nothing's wrong, the LCD is still clear, and uh, really nothing wrong with it. Uh, you can get a larger memory card, I, from what I remember at the time, you could get a 128 megabyte card, but of course they were very expensive back then. You know, now you can get 64 gigabytes for probably $15 or less, depending on whether it's on sale. But uh, I'm going to keep this MP3 player for a long time. I actually have a lot of memories with it. And if you guys want to know anything else about this, uh, please do let me know. I'll try my best to get back to you in the comment section below.